أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مذاكرة بي شيخ محمد فوزي الكركري قدس الله سره The oxymoron of life devoid of light Some may come to you and say You do not need the light of Allah Just go perform your ablutions and engage in prayer Those who tell you this will mislead you Those are denialists who will misguide you Come the day of resurrection, they will disown you, declaring, We absolve ourselves of you. While the Lord of Majesty, Jalla Jalalu, regarding them will say, Close friends, the day will be enemies to each other, except for the righteous. As Zukhruf 67. Who are these righteous? Countless are the hadiths that treat this subject. Let's delve into one of them. The Prophet says, There are people from the servants of Allah who are neither prophets nor martyrs. The angels and martyrs will envy them. They asked, Who are they, O Messenger of Allah? He replied, they are individuals, not bound by lineage nor blood, yet angels yearn for their grace. How can it be that angels envy them? The companions asked, Who are these beings, O Messenger of Allah? Reveal them to us that we might cherish them. He responds, For they are people bound by mutual love by the light of Allah. They were not bound by mere ritual ablutions and prayers, but by the light of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ continues, Their faces shining with light, seated upon platforms of light, unshaken by fear when others fear, and marred by grief when others grieve. He then concludes, Unquestionably, the awliya of Allah, there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. What role shall we play with the light of Allah? Are we destined to be among those whom the angels envy? Regrettably, we align with those, God forgive, envied by devils, inciting jealousy among shayateen as we have surpassed them with our deeds, for we dwell in darkness. Such is our reality. The angels are light. The awliya, the saints, are light. The Prophet ﷺ is light. So is Allah, Islam, and Iman. What then is our purpose with Allah's light? If we question all this, then what is our quest in this life? To seek Iblis himself? But why pursue Iblis when he is the seeker, and we have ostensibly transcended his realm? We hover above on the surface, having surpassed our lower tiers. Then, what shall we do with the light of Allah? The Qur'an is an equivocal in the following verse. Nurun ala nur, yahdillahu li nurihi man yasha. Light upon light, Allah guides to his light whom he wills. And Nur 35. A chapter within the Quran bears the title The Light of Allah, known as An Nur. One may declare, I do not desire the light of Allah. Then you should ask them to remove this chapter from the Holy Scripture. Remove Al Baqarah from the Quran where it is written, Allah wali alladina amanu yukhrijuhum min al-thulumat ila nur. Allah is the wali of those who believe. He brings them out from darkness into the light. Al-Baqarah 257 You do not want the light of Allah? Remove Al-Hadid from the Qur'an. يَوْمَ تَرَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَسْحَى نُورُهُمْ بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَبِإِيمَانِهِمْ On the day you see the believing men and believing women, their light proceeding before them and on their right. Al-Hadid 12 So what then remains for you? Only Al-Masad remains. 
This is what remains for you in the Quran. You are left with Abu Lahab, with Tabbat Yada Abi Lahab in Watab. May the hands of Abu Lahab perish, and he himself perish. Al Masad 1. He, Abu Lahab, represents the body of Iblis in the time of the Prophet. Therefore, do not ask, What do we do with the light? Instead, search for how you can reach this light. Ask yourself, Does my vision of the light count as repentance? Do I have forgiveness? Why do we search for the light, you might ask? It is because the light does not volunteer itself. It does not approach you and offer itself saying, Come, take me. On the day of judgment, the separation between believers and hypocrites is decisively affected through the singular medium of Allah's light. On the day you see the believing men and believing women, their light proceeding before them and on their right. Al-Hadid 12 The concepts of left and right dissipate. Everything before them, like the arsh of the letter Nun, becomes eliminated. بشراكم اليوم جنات تجري من تحتها الانهار خالدين فيها Your good tidings today are of heavens beneath which rivers flow wherein you will abide eternally. Al-Hadid 12 Does this imply one cannot enter heaven unless light permeates before them and by their faith? Such is the decree. The verse in Surah Al-Hadid continues. يَوْمَ يَقُولُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَنْظُرُونَ نَقْتَبِسْ مِنْ نُورِكُمْ قِيلَ ارْجَعُوا وَرَاءَكُمْ فَالْتَمِسُوا نُورًا On the same day, the hypocrite man and hypocrite women will say to those who believed, Wait for us, that we may acquire some of your light. It will be said, Go back behind you and seek light. Al-Hadid 13 Go back to the shaykh of your time, should you seek the light of Allah. Go back to Al-Arwi, should you seek the light of Allah in the time of Al-Karkari. Return to Mustaghanim, if you were from the time of Shaykh Al-Alawi. Go back to Alexandria, if you were in the time of Al-Shadwili. Each spoke to their kin within the same region, era, and setting. Go back behind you and seek the light. Meaning, revert to your worldly existence, then seek out this light. The verse continues. فَذُرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِسُورٍ لَهُ بَابٌ بَاطِنُهُ فِيهِ الرَّحْمَةِ وَظَاهِرُهُ مِنْ قِبَلِهِ الْعَذَابِ And the wall will be placed between them with a door, its interior containing mercy, but on the outside of it is torment. Al-Hadid 13 If mercy exists in the light, torment exists within the darkness. The tormented will cry out to those Christ. يُنَادُونَهُمْ أَلَمْ نَكُنْ مَعَكُمْ were we not with you? They will reply, Yes, you were. Al-Hadid 14 They said, Indeed, you were with us. Yet, when the light of Allah was being distributed among the believers, you were questioning its utility and necessity. You led yourselves into temptation, lingered in hesitation and doubt. When night falls and the sky is empty of stars and the moon, how will you navigate the darkness? When the day arrives but the sun is eclipsed, how will you go about your daily tasks? You live by Allah's light from morning to night, yet you wonder what to do with it. It's as if you're asking God to take away the sun, moon, and stars, thinking you don't need them. Can life continue on earth without the sun and moon? Think about it. Is it possible to live in a world Without the sun and moon, think about it more. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama sallaita ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim wa barak ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama barak ta'ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim fil alameen innaka hamidu majid.